Okay, so while we get uh, while you get Jen going, I just want to thank our sponsors. Barbara Young is our sponsor tonight. So somebody is going to win Barb's never worn a Vander T-shirt. Vander Kane T-shirt. Like licensed NHL, the whole deal. <laughs> never used though. <laughs> So. Which means I have to lose to, technically, or else I get my own shirt back. <laughs> All right. I th think Jen is not frozen. All right. Sorry, Jen. I think I'm going to have to take over as good as I don't think you're going to get to play. But if you can get, if you can hear us, which you can't, uh, just log into Proud Crowd Purr. <laughs> And Until we, you might see the, the questions refresh on your phone. Okay, so moving on. <laughs> All right. So everyone's logged in. And just apologies in advance because I'm not uh, I'm not the quiz master extraordinaire. I'm just the wannabe quiz master. So here we go. <laughs> Question one. In 1775, who issued a proclamation that any enslaved or indentured person would be given their freedom if they joined the British forces? Uh, sorry. Um, should I be using Wikipedia? Maybe. <laughs> Canadian Encyclopedia is good too. Or just Googling the text of the proclamation might, <laughs> might bring up something for you. I did the Google option. Mm -hmm. Okay, we've got one vote. How do I do this on my, uh, I'm doing it on my laptop. I'm trying to press it and nothing's happening. Yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to click this one. Oh, yeah. oh no. I have to use my phone. Okay. So I'm on, on the screen. Yeah. yeah. If, you're, if you're clicking on your Zoom screen, nothing's going to happen. I did that a few times the yeah. the last time we played. That's what Bob's <laughs> doing right now. So. Yeah, I've done that before. So yeah, I think but... Carrie's in the lead. <laughs> Provided <laughs> she got the right answer. Yeah. If she got the wrong answer, there's no points for being quick. We'll see what happens. Oh my gosh. Okay, we've got two votes. So we'll move on. I think Barb did it. How do we do that? Oh, oh, there we go. I figured it out. I'm still not Jen, but here we go. <laughs> what was the name of the proclamation Sir Henry Clinton made in 1779 offering full protection, freedom, and land? A, the Pittsburgh Proclamation. B, the Phillipsburg Proclamation. C, the Harrisburg Proclamation, or D, the Mechanicsburg Proclamation. Oh, we got one boat in. Keep thinking, people, keep thinking. I have to do it on my phone because my laptop has the whole thing going, so I have to do everything on my phone with different tabs, so it's making me slow. Yes, it is. Ugh. Yes, it does. <laughs> See, I have I have Zoom opened, and then I have all of us down the side, and then over top of Zoom, I have Chrome open, so I can't actually see the slide or the the screen share in Zoom, but I can see my question window, so I don't get confused. <laughs> okay. Um, okay, I think I know the answer. Finally, 
not that I want to win anyway, because I it is my t-shirt. <laughs> Everybody wants an Amanda Kane shirt. No, it was a nice shirt. <clears throat> okay, I voted. There we go. All right. Moving on. Question three. After the war, the British fled the US and left a number of black soldiers behind to be re-enslaved. Where did the ones who were resettled, the black loyalists, end up? A, Florida, B, the West Indies, C, the Canadian Maritimes, or D, all of the above? Okay, we got two votes. All uh, right. Uh, the correct answer was D, all of the above. But don't worry, nobody got that right. So no one's get no one's getting ahead. No one's getting behind. Let's uh, see who is who is winning. Oh, Carrie, way to go, Carrie. It's me. I could change quick in the lightning round, but uh, you're ahead by a hundred. Excellent. I was gonna say, yeah, sure can change quick because I think that happened last time. Yeah. <laughs> Already question, where's the button? Here it is, question four. Okay, which of these were three key documents used to record the black loyalist status during this transition? A, certificates of freedom. B, the book of Negroes. C, proof of license to travel. Or D, uh, both A and B, certificates of freedom and the book of Negroes. Normally I play thinking music, but I got too much going on being, being Jen and the host at the same time. Oh, we got two votes. Okay. Um, well, correct answer is D, both A and B, but uh, So we're half right, I guess. <laughs> so certificates of freedom, that was a document that every enslaved person, sorry, every former enslaved person had to carry with them. And then the book of Negroes is the, the book when they were, uh, load, where they'd record those names off the certificates when they're loading the ships and unloading. Uh, proof of license to travel, that was something similar, but unrelated. That's, uh, hmm. that's a document you would carry if you were leaving a plantation to go pick up something at the store or something like that. So, there we go. Question five. In the 1970s, the Maritimes were divided into four areas. Which area had the largest group of Black loyalists? A, New Brunswick, B, Nova Scotia, C, St. John's Island, or D, Cape Breton Island? I found it quite interesting finding the map from the 1790s, and these are the four areas. There weren't provinces yet, but that's... That's what they divided it up as. as. There's no PEI or no Newfoundland. Oh, we got one vote. Okay, keep thinking, people. Oh. Um. I'm having trouble. We're both, both answered. Excellent. Sorry to interrupt you, Barb. Just we're short on time. So, uh, let's, where is it? Where is it? Correct answer. Correct answer is B. Everybody got it correct. And who is winning? Oh, look at that. Oh, Carrie. But the, she's not pulling ahead. Barb's uh, keeping, keeping right in there. 
You might win your shirt back, Barb. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> it's a nice shirt. I just, you know. I'm still a Vander Kane fan. I used to run a Twitter account called Evander's Kane. We had this. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> He had this giant pimp cane with a diamond on the top of it. Anyway, in the late 1900s, which town became one of the most populated settlements of Black people, free and enslaved outside of Africa? A. Shelburne, B. Birchtown, C. Preston, or D. Digby? Uh, I have no idea. I'm going to guess on this one because I can't find the answer. Hmm. All right. We've got two guesses and one guess was right. Uh, the correct answer is B, Birchdown. Yeah. Well, I, shouldn't, I shouldn't assume everybody was guessing. Maybe uh, someone Googled or Barb guessed. Okay, anyway, question seven. What happened to the freedom Lorne Dunmer, Dunmore had promised the Black Royals? A, it was realized in the first mass in emancipation of enslaved peoples in America. B, the former enslaved were free to experience starvation, indentureship, exploitation of cheap labor, severe winters, lack of educational opportunities, racism. Uh, C, both A and B, or D, none of the above. Really hard to look things up. Yeah, you're going to need a, a mass uh, control center to play this game. Well, you know, you're doing it on your own. She's got it going on there. Just uh, put the Google in a window on top of the. Uh... Yeah. I need to find you the, speaking of control centers, I need to find you the picture of like the three monitor setup I had during the. Um... I think it was like the Winnipeg municipal election. I had this whole setup watching all the things coming in. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm guessing we've got about five minutes, so I think we can I think we can get through it if we don't spend five on every question. But sorry, um, no, all the time. It's a hard question. Like, yeah, like this one might be a hard one. Yeah, take all the time you need. We'd rather you, we'd rather you learn eight things than rush and learn none. <laughs> Even if we can't learn ten, that's imp more important to learn eight, right? Oh, did you get my answer? Yeah, I see one vote. I guess if that's your answer, Carrie's still thinking. <laughs> yep. I think I'm ready to, to just take a guess, so I will take a guess. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, Carrie guessed right. Congratulations. It was both uh, A and B. So this was the first mass emancipation. I guess the second was the uh, the one Lincoln promised that was delivered after the Civil War ended. And uh, B is also true. Uh, freedom isn't free, I guess. Uh, which is uh, sad, but true. Anyway, question eight. What happened to the land Henry Clinton had promised to the Black Loyalists? A, land was distributed according to their military service records. B, white Loyalists were also promised land, and the Black Loyalists were at the back of the allocation line. Some received very poor swamp land, but many received nothing. C, land was distributed equally, every loyalist receiving the same amount, regardless of race, former rank, or other factors. Uh, D, rather than allocate any land, the British put Henry Clinton to death and then declared the Pittsburgh Proclamation null and void. Oh, nice. We got 10 minutes, actually. That's going to be fun. I just got the warning. We're doing good for time. OK, 
Okay, we got one vote. So while the second player's uh, Googling, I'll just talk a little bit about this. Because this is the first time the white loyalists have come up. Uh, loyalists were people that decided to fight for the British in the um, in War of Independence, I think it was, or what was the real name for it? Anyway, uh, and then the black loyalists were the loyalists who weren't white. But uh, So the freedom that was promised to the loyalists that would apply more to the black loyalists, but there is perks for, for everybody. And I think the British were planning on winning the war when they were offering all this stuff. Worlds of war here, come come join the winning team. But uh, there may not have been as much to go around. I don't know what the thought process was back then. Oh, we got two votes. I should have shut up and, and, and click the next question. Okay, so we got uh, two votes. The correct answer is B. Yeah. So they looked after the loyalists, but they looked after the white loyalists first and then gave the leftovers to the black loyalists. And who is winning? Oh, Carrie's still ahead. Oh, and Carrie is pulling ahead. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I was gonna say, oh my God, that's a... You might be safe from the lightning round. <laughs> Congratulations, Carrie. I'm having trouble finding the answers in the thing I'm looking at. We so. need to get Barb's uh, control center set up. Uh... Absolutely. appropriately. Absolutely. I'm just guessing because I can't find the answers. Question nine. Where was the first race riot in North America? A. Chester, Pennsylvania. B. Tulsa, Oklahoma. C. New York, New York. Or D. Shelburne, North no Nova Scotia. Oh, got two votes quick. Okay. Correct answer was uh, D, Shelburne, North, Nova Scotia, which uh, surprised me when I learned that uh, last summer. I learned this and uh, blew my mind because I always thought uh, that the US is the place where the race riots were happening. But no, That's what I thought until I Googled it. Yeah. Yeah. First one was up here. There's a really, really good podcast, Carrie. I'll send you the link where this is how I learned that. Uh, oh, okay. Cool. They go into all the Canadian history that's been whitewashed. So. Oh. That would be super interesting to listen to. It, it is. I listened to it uh, maybe five times in the last two years. It's, it's a two-parter. So hmm. everybody ready for the lightning round? Oh, I thought that was the lightning round. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Lightning. Well, I answered it super Point at the mic. No one can hear you but me. <laughs> oh. She turned I her head to talk to me. <laughs> I thought that was the lightning round, so I didn't Google it. I just guessed. <laughs> oh, well, whatever. It's all good. All righty. Let's see who's winning. <laughs> <laughs> do we need to? Yes, we do. Because it's part of the lightning round procedure. Where's the button? I wish I was as good as Jen. Here it is. There it is. All right. Carrie's winning by 500. I think she's probably pretty safe as long as she votes gets the next one correct. I think she's going to still still win. Um, but lightning, a lot of points for the lightning round. So don't even wait for me to finish reading. I'm going to finish reading, but if you guys have, haven't voted by the time I'm done, that means you're not doing the lightning round properly. OK, one, two, three, go. What sparked the Shelburne race riot? A, does Jan accept bribes for extra points? B. White loyalists were upset that a black preacher built a church in Shelburne instead of nearby Birchtown. C, when COVID's finally run its course, let's have a picnic at the Forks, then visit the Human Rights Museum together. Uh, D, I hope I win the Evander Kane t-shirt. All right, got two votes, they're both right. The right, correct answer is B. So who won? Let's see who won. Whoops, there we go, Carrie. 687 points. Oh my goodness. That's amazing. That's that might be the highest score ever. That's wild. <laughs> All right. I better screen grab this. So I can oh, please don't. Put it on our Instagram. Oh, yes. No. Don't. no. Oh, we, want, we, want, we want pictures of you presenting the shirt to Carrie. <laughs> oh, 
but my score is so embarrassing. I couldn't look up anything because I wasn't working. Doing Instagram live and everything. <laughs> I'll, uh, I'll, I'll, pho I'll Photoshop the score barb. <laughs> Thank you. There we go. That two could be changed into uh, into a six. Yeah. It's Forty-seven to six eighty-seven. That that works. Well, and we could make that red line a little longer. <laughs> so Barb, um, Carrie, did you did anything pop out at you? Is there anything that surprised you besides the Canada being the home of the first race ride and? North American history. Anything else uh, interesting? I need to read up more on this topic because yeah. I don't know anything about it. I, same. I know. I know nothing, and I'm like interested to actually go back and look more at the things that I was googling while this was happening because it's you know just like finding everything so quickly. But yeah, I'm gonna gonna go back and uh, read some stuff. I think. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, your search history would be. Just check yeah. that out and walk back through it for sure. I had no idea the Book of Negroes was uh, a historical thing. I thought it was a movie I haven't seen yet. So that was, uh, and a book that I haven't read, but no, it was, was that uh, new to you as well, Carrie? Or yeah. 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 Yeah, I just thought it was like a book we sold at chapters. <laughs> oh my gosh, I need a lot. I need to learn more about this. Mm -hmm. Well, we're learning together and being ignorant is not an insult. I mean, it just means we weren't taught properly when we went to school, right? That's, That's right. They didn't talk about this stuff. No, nope. we sure didn't. No. Nope. So, I mean, I, I feel like more and more I'm feeling that that's kind of the, the usual, that we didn't learn many of the important things that we could have in school. And that hasn't changed, apparently, so. Yeah, yeah. You heard what's going on in the States with the... Uh, they're trying to change what's allowed to be taught. And... Yeah, I heard a little bit. Um, but I, yeah, I haven't heard a whole lot about it. But yeah, I mean, I, I think it's interesting, though, too, because I mean, I feel like that's kind of, you know, possibly happening a little bit everywhere. But, mm -hmm. um, you know, slowly, I think people are just kind of realizing everything that hasn't been been taught or that is taught in some places and not others. Yeah, absolutely. It's, it's, um, they're weaponizing the word critical race theory and saying you can't teach this in school. You know, where they're, that isn't even what they're teaching. But then in the fine print, it says dot, 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 or anything that makes people uncomfortable. <laughs> right? And if people can't get uncomfortable or deal with a little bit of discomfort, how are, how are things going to change? You know? Yeah. Well, um, thanks for coming. And thanks, Carrie, for Thank you. inviting people. That's really, uh, you're a great ambassador for non-trivial trivia. So keep, keep that up and maybe we'll have more people next week. I know, I'm trying, I'm trying. Yeah. My, uh, my friend who said she was gonna come, um, she like, she was, I, I think her house is kind of like chaos today. So, um, but it's hopefully- It's not me if you get hung up on it. Oh yeah, no, no, totally. I, I know how the Zoom works. Yeah, so hopefully she's able to jump on next time and we'll yep. keep trying to get more people to come because this yep. is- this is fun and I, I think people should join us so and father's day yeah. is a good day for other people so we're looking at changing the date uh sunday wasn't ideal for others so yep we'll see what happens there maybe that'll help too yep cool <laughs> thank you carrie thank you you're welcome this is like so fun that you know you guys put this together and then do all the running around and yeah. you know hopefully we get more people out because i think you know the more people we <laughs> pile on will be uh be fun well it's something i'm interested in so if i can bring people along while i learn this stuff you know, yeah in way, why not i'm going to be learning it anyway so i may as well have some fun while I'm at yeah it. exactly it's like i love the concept though and like this this website too i was looking at it as we were starting and i'm trying to figure out how i can use it for something at work because it's uh it's a fun concept Crowd per, yeah yeah they've yeah. got the multiple choice they've got all, all kinds of fun things you can do yeah Alrighty, well, I should say cool. goodbye so nobody gets nobody gets cut off mid sentence. <laughs> hey, Sounds thanks, good. Carrie, thanks, Barb. Thanks, Jen. Bye, Bye everyone. Talk to you. Thank later. you, Carrie. Thank hey, you. Bye. Bye. Take care.